We've talked a lot about NIL or name, image, and likeness in sports. They're the rules that allow college athletes to be paid for marketing and promotional activities. A course at Duke University teaches students how the rules have changed, who has the biggest deals, and how NIL is affecting our local teams and athletes. Also, how to set up a business around it. WRO's Ali Ingersoll explains. Duke University has more than 600 student athletes in sports from basketball to crew, track to football. Equity and athletics data from the U.S. Department of Education shows that these students generate more than $152 million for the school. And since 2021, the students playing these sports have been able to cash in themselves through name, image, and likeness, or NIL. College athletics has been fundamentally changed by NAL and it's created an opportunity for these student athletes to make some money while they're playing in, in college. That's Ezra Kuchars, an adjunct professor at Duke. This semester, he's teaching a course all about NIL and is part of the university's innovation and entrepreneurship initiative. While we weren't allowed to sit in on one of the classes, he says it's business centric. It's teaching them more to be an entrepreneur where it is about how do you create a business around it? Not just something that is like, hey, I'm gonna pad my social media accounts. This is like, how do I go out and create something that is sustainable and long-term viability? About a third of those in the class are student athletes. Others are influencers. And some are students just interested in the business model. The professor says the changing landscape and regulation have made the course interesting and important. It forces you to stay on top of it and, you know, and make sure you know what's going on. In Durham, Ellie Ingersoll, WRL News.